We've been very, very heavily involved in all the COVID research. We started the recovery trial, which was uh, running throughout the country, which was testing all different drugs that were already on the market, but not for this specific purpose. One of the original drugs that uh, the clinicians were really keen to use was hydroxychloroquine. And very quickly it became uh, apparent that the hydroxychloroquine really didn't have that much of an effect. Just relax. Yeah. Okay. And then we got other drugs put on. They had the plasma, which everybody thought was going to be the saviour. And, you know, we trialled and trialled, but it didn't have the effect that we expected. So that came off. And, but dexamethasone, probably one of the cheaper of the drugs, actually made a big difference. And hence, that was, you know, became standard practice, standard care. And that's what research is all about. So, yes, we was out on the front line from day one. Very nervous, but we knew that this is something that needed to be done desperately quickly uh, to try and help a lot of these uh, patients, especially in the first wave. And I remember walking up there, trepidation. This lovely, lovely lady was sort of behind glass. There was, you know, PP, there were people scurrying about. And it just felt like this is the start of, we just don't know. So there's a section if you go back. I wouldn't like to repeat those two years. You know, you, you log onto your computer on the morning and you check in, you know, that the patients who are on these trials, you know, did the patient get discharged? Did the patient die? Is the patient still in hospital? That's part of being a research nurse. Lots and lots of highs, lows, but ultimately we're looking to, you know, benefit the nation, really.